Collagen for healthy skin and joints. Alrighty, today we want to talk about collagen, and we've talked about it a few times on this channel, but I want to be very, very specific this time. Collagen is a protein that plays a crucial role in the structure of elasticity of the skin. So it is a main component of extra cellular matrix that provides support, strength, and firmness of the skin. It is sort of an anti-wrinkle type thing, but that is not the most important thing about collagen. So it has the following things where it helps with skin. Number one, skin structure and firmness. So collagen provides a structural framework for the skin, helping it maintain its firmness and elasticity, which it forms a network of fibers that support the skin and prevent sagging. So that, that can be very important. But number two, it also does hydration. Collagen is involved in the maintenance of skin hydration. It helps to attract and retrain moisture, contributing to a plump and supple appearance. Proper skin hydration is essential for healthy complexion. So not just healthy, but you'll also look good doing it. Number three, wound healing. We talk about this sometimes. I wish that I had a wound to show you, but all my wounds are on my leg in such a way that I think it would be weird for the channel. But I have like random scrapes and bruises that just show up. And so uh, more collagen for me. So wound healing is important. Collagen plays a crucial role in the wound healing process. It helps in the formation of new skin tissue. So if, if you don't have enough collagen, you can't make the new skin tissue and you just sit there with scars and scrapes and bruises that just won't heal. They won't go away. I mean, they're not continuously bleeding still, but they're not getting better either. So you need the collagen for that. And as I pointed out in another video, which may or may not be above my head somewhere, uh, the vitamin C is important for making the collagen work. So you have to have adequate amounts of vitamin C in your life in order to make collagen work. So wound healing minimizes scarring, and uh, it also can uh, help you with the after the creating the new skin like I was talking about before. It creates new skin tissue, so that can help. Number four, collagen synthesis. Its production naturally decreases as part of aging process. So um, there are other factors like UV radiation, pollution, and lifestyle can make collagen break down in your body. Supplementing collagen for skincare products or collagen synthesis may support natural skin repair. And then number five, reducing wrinkles and five fine lines. I think we've kind of discussed that quite a bit, but it helps with that. And of course, number six, it improves skin texture. And then collagen also plays a crucial role in supporting joint health. So that's uh, the things like joints, like elbows and knees and that sort of thing. And of course you have to have enough cartilage between those places where bones connect where the knee bones connected to the leg bone, all that kind of thing, or the knee bones connected to the thigh bone, all those kind of things, where those are connected, you have connective tissues, which are called tendons and ligaments, and then you also have cartilage, which is a cushion between different joints, like in the knee and elbow area, so that when they, they uh, don't scrape together, essentially, because if, if you don't have enough cartilage, they scrape together, and that causes a lot of pain. So number one reason why you would want to use collagen and make sure that you have enough collagen in your life, whether you get it from me at supermikesupplements.com or somewhere else, you want to make sure that you have plenty of collagen in your life because it's going to help you with that joint pain. So it starts with number one, collagen support, cartilage support, and then number two, joint flexibility and range of motion. Collagen helps with maintaining the integrity of flexibility of tendons and ligaments, just like I was talking about a moment ago. Number three, reducing joint pain and inflammation. Collagen supplements may help reduce joint pain and inflammation, particularly in individuals with conditions like uh, osteoarthritis. The collagen peptides can support the regeneration of cartilage and contribute to more comfortable and mobile joint function. Number four, collagen synthesis. Similar to its role in skin health, collagen synthesis is vital for joint maintenance and repair. Collagen production is the Bodies natu naturally decreases with age, so that can make joint stiffness and discomfort for you. So supplementing with collagen can help. And of course, you can have diet rich in nutrients and support collagen synthesis as well. Number five, it also helps with hydration of joint tissues, the same as it was doing for skin. So you can, you can get collagen in supplements in a balanced diet. So consume a well-balanced diet rich in nutrients and support joint health. This includes vitamin C, as I mentioned earlier, crucial for collagen synthesis and omega-3 fatty acids found in fish and flax seeds, which have anti-inflammatory properties. Number uh, not sure what number that would be, but regular exercise, uh, regular exercise. You don't want to overuse the joint. If you're having joint pain already, you want to go with the collagen either by food or by 
supplements and then work your way up to more regular exercise. If you are not healthy enough for exercise because you're in pain a lot, get with your doctor on a get healthy plan, just like I'm always saying. And if you are healthy enough already, get on a stay healthy plan. So it's good to consult a physician. And of course, you want to maintain a healthy weight as well. Obviously, the more uh, the more you weigh, the more impact you have on joints. And um, that's not to say that, that is the only factor why you would have joint pain, not at all. But uh, that can be a contributing factor and one that is avoidable because you're in charge of how much you end up weighing. Um, I know it doesn't always feel like that, but it's totally up to you. Uh, about, not just about the calories that you take, but also you know the supplements that you might take or how much of your doctor's advice you take. And of course, I'm, I'm not here to make fun of or make anyone feel bad about being a bigger person. If you are that and you're happy with that, that is good because I want you to be happy with your life. I want you to love yourself just the way you are. But if you do feel like it's impacting your health, then go ahead consult a physician and you know make sure that you maintain that healthy weight and so that you you know live long and have as much life into those years as you possibly can. So that's really good as well. Alrighty, we talked about collagen. If you like videos on collagen, and vitamin C, or anything about how to live a longer life, then go ahead and click that like button and hit subscribe while you're down there so you don't miss out on any videos when we're talking about how to live longer. So the next video is coming up right here.